is Florida ranks nearly last in the number of certified geriatric specialists per elderly resident. Not what you'd expect for one of the nation's top retirement destinations, but help is on the way. Headlines reporter Dennis Schnitker details the Florida State College of Medicine's plan to meet the needs of our aging population. If there's one word to describe retired school teacher Mildred McCullough, it's independent. I'm independent in every way as possible because I like to be independent. The 88-year-old enjoys reasonably good health. She suffers from osteoporosis and acid reflux. But Mildred doesn't slow down for anything, save maybe a trip to the doctor. Mrs. McCullough, how are you? I'm fine today. Except how are you, this Great. isn't a real doctor's I'm, office. Uh, it's a kind of exam here. room simulator at Florida State and University. Mildred is just one today. of today several hundred who help train future doctors at the Florida State College of Medicine. I enjoy doing it because I enjoy teaching. So far, your heart sounds very good. Mildred's uh, involvement is crucial. Florida so State's mission is to meet the good. needs and of the state's rural, the blood underserved, you, you know and geriatric the blood populations. In fact, many of the people who live out in rural areas and who are underserved are elderly people. If we can get students to make commitments to get out into those areas, they'll have to be doing geriatrics. And go ahead and breathe normally. That's why the FSU Medical School is the first in the state and just the fourth in okay, the entire country to devote an entire department to geriatric medicine. Excellent, excellent. Of course, it is our overall goal um, that every student that graduates from FSU will have the basic skills necessary to take care of older people. Most care is provided by primary care physicians, and those people need a lot of education in geriatrics, and there's a small role for geriatrics specialists in providing care directly. Wow. Yet a recent analysis found only 14 of the nation's 145 medical schools include geriatrics in their required courses. And only 3% of med students choose geriatrics electives at the 86 med schools where they're offered. Ms. McCall, do you have any problems hearing at all? No. Uh, excellent. By contrast, FSU medical students study a wide range of aging issues not just in their required fourth year geriatrics rotation, but is an integral part of all their courses. What we're doing is kind of different than every other school. Number one is we have a legislative mandate to teach geriatrics in all four years. No school has ever had that before. Number two, we're also trying to really insinuate geriatrics into every aspect of the student's training. Yeah. Oh. The FSU College of Medicine is the nation's first new medical school in a generation. The college was founded in the year 2000, charged with addressing Florida's most pressing physician shortages. Although students aren't obligated to practice geriatrics or even primary care after graduation, a geriatrics-based medical education will undoubtedly make a difference in the future. Our goal is not to make um, to have every student who graduates from here be a geriatrician. Our goal is that every student will have the knowledge, skills, and attitudes to provide quality care for older people. Even if we can just get them to stay in Florida, build up the, the physician population that we need here, and be doing geriatrics in whatever specialty, we will have been uh, successful. Making more name? Florida McCullough. residents like Mildred McCullough both happy and healthy. I'm Dennis Schnitker reporting.